Hello and welcome to Ginger Games. Today I am going to do a set of tutorials on how to program in Java. I know this might seem completely different to most of my videos because most of mine are Let's Plays, but hold with me, I'm still going to be doing video normal videos, um, but I thought I might do some tutorials on learning Java so you may be able to make your own games and able to mod Minecraft with it as well and make your own little programs as well because it's such fun to make your own creations on a computer so as you notice I'm on Windows 7 at the moment and um, well I, I'm on a Mac usually and this is still my Mac I'm just running this through an emulator at the moment so I'm gonna teach you how to install Java first on your computer. Now, on Mac, it's already pre installed and everything's already done for you, but on Windows, you have to do it all yourself. Now, you may be saying, Yeah, but Java's already installed on my computer, which is true, it may be already installed, but the JDK is not installed. Now, the JDK is the Java development kit, which means you're allowed to program and compile and run your programs inside your computer, while the uh, basic Java that you probably already have installed only be able to run the programs. So first open up your web browser of your choice, I'm using Google Chrome at the moment, and go straight to Google. Let's go straight to Google. Ta-da! And now we need to go to a website called Oracle, because this is the company that now owns Java. It used to be Sun, but now it's Oracle. Now, when you've got to this web page, please go to Downloads and then go, it says Most Popular Downloads, Java for Developers. Now, you'll be having a long list of different programs here, as you can see. Da -da -da -da. However, the one that you want is this one, which says Java Platform JDK. You do not need this NetBeans one or the um, Enterprise Edition. They're completely different. Um, what you want is just the standard JDK. So let's click on that and it will be brought up to this page. And um, you need to download it. So you need to click, it'll click Accept. Yeah, and then you can download any of these. So choose the platform that you're on. And it just happens to be, I'm on this one. Note, if you have a 64-bit computer, please download the x64 file, and if you have a 32-bit computer, please download the x86 file. And if you're not sure which one you have, just download the x86 file. And you could be on Linux and install it that way, or Sororis, which I've never used before. Well, I might try it one day. And uh, you just click download, and install it. When you um, are presented with this screen to install Java, just click next, next again, and then wait till it's installed. Okay, as soon as you have installed Java, please go to your start menu, and then where it says search programs and files, type in CMD. Click enter. Oop. And it should pop up with your command terminal. And to let's now just follow me and type in Java C and then click enter. As you noticed, it has it's just gone berserk and said, Oh, I can't find it, I can't find it. But this is absolutely normal because on Windows you have to set where the Java compiler is. And it hasn't been set yet. So what we have to do to set it, we have to go to computer. You want your local disk. Then you go on to the program files. Then Java. Then you go on to your JDK. And if you can't find that, you haven't installed it properly. Um, go on to the JDK and then find a folder called bin. As soon as you have found this, 
find all these files, go on any of these files, and I'll go with uh, that one. Right click on it, and click Properties. Now, as soon as you go into Properties, you'll f find this location, and you highlight it all, and copy and paste it. It's because this is where the compiler here is kept. So, I click OK just to close it. And now, we have to go on to the Start menu again. Computer. And, oop, gone done wrong already. Any? Go on to there, and then right click on Computer, and click Properties. Now you've been brought up this screen, and what you now have to do is click Advanced System Settings. And as you see, there's tons of tabs and everything, but what we want is the environment variables. We click this, and we're brought up with a new thing. Now, this environment variables is where we're going to tell the computer where Java is kind of kept. So we need to click new to create a new user variable. Now, the name of the variable is going to be called path, and then the value is where you have copy and pasted where it's stored, like that. Then all you need to do is click OK, and you can close all this, and we go back to the command terminal, and we type in Java C, enter, and now you've got a bunch of crap. And this means absolutely nothing to the beginning, beginner, so but this, when you've got all this crap, you know you've installed it properly. This episode, I will not teach you any code or anything. I'm just teaching you how to install it, and that's good. On Mac, you do not need to install this whatsoever because it's already on the computer. On Linux, you probably need to install it, but um, I don't know if it might be already installed when you installed Linux. Some packages do, some packages don't. Just yeah. And thank you for watching this video.